Okay, you guys, we are, I'm gonna explain this in a minute. Okay, so today, it was a very full day. Tomorrow we leave out to go to Vegas. I'm super excited about that. Vegas in California. So tomorrow we leave out, our plane leaves about 11.30 in the morning. And this Saturday, the day before has been uh, really, really full. So let me give you a brief synopsis on this Saturday. We first started off where we woke up and I went to serve the homeless and my husband came later. He went and got a haircut and he came by and everything. So, um, and that was a total success. Thank God for um, Rhonda and her husband, Mike, and the BAM squad, which means building anointed marriages. So we teamed up with them and we went and fed and served the homeless. Next, around about 3.30, I was supposed to, we were supposed to be at my husband, supposed to be at my son's, excuse me, apartment. And um, because he was going to propose to his girlfriend, which is now fiance. That was a total success. I vlogged all of it. And hopefully you guys can get a chance to see it. Hopefully, I don't know if it's going to be before or after you see this. So, depends on how much I can get edited and all that stuff. Now, lastly... Right when my husband went home, my husband got stung by a yellow jacket. So we tried all the well, the home remedies or whatever, but he's still in pain. So now we are here at American Family Care. So this should be adventurous right before we get ready to leave on our anniversary trip. So, all right, you guys, just wanted to give you the heads up on how our day before we get ready to go is. Whoa, whatever. All right, I'm going in to sign him in. So why are we in here? Injury. What, what kind of injury? Let me get it close. I had to fight five guys off. And then uh, one got a good punch in. Stabbed in the leg. And it's about this. Okay. Let me see the wound. See it. Where is it? Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Mm -mm. Uh, Let me get closer. Ooh. That's it, right there. What the, what the, the yeah. person name was the yellow jacket? Uh, yeah, his name was YJ. I said, man, YJ, why you gotta stab me, man? He said, man, cause you too tough. But I can't beat you up, so I can stab you. I said, I see why, so here I am. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I've already decided to rejoice and be glad in it. So I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Um, we are on our way to our anniversary trip, and uh, this is day one, Sunday. We're leaving out on Sunday, and this is day one of our anniversary trip, and I'm uber excited and my husband is excited and we're just excited, right? Yep. Okay, so our flight leaves about 11 a.m. from Birmingham to Atlanta and then from Atlanta to Nevada. So we are headed out and... Somebody was high strong last night. You did this, you did that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Calm down, baby, it's gonna be all right. I was getting so Strong I was getting a little a little anxiety because I'm always trying to make sure everything is in place I and um, Yeah, I don't like to be rushed or stressed at the last minute. So anyway, and guess who was waiting on who? This morning. You ready? One more thing. That's because I had to make sure that the YouTube video continued while we're out and who got stung by a bee yesterday? Uh, that would be you. Hello. Ooh, you are rejoicing. Oh, That's I already cold. put that. I already vlogged That's about that. Cold. So I'm adding all these videos That's together. Cold. So y'all let's see the wow. day before our anniversary trip, uh, what man. we had to deal with. That's so, into who? All right, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We're gonna get something to eat, and we're headed to the airport. Well, we're headed to pick up my mom, and we um she's gonna uh take us to the airport so <laughs> so extra and so anyway so we had to pick up her and um yeah then we headed to the airport so i will see you guys at the airport bye bye
How's it been so far? Oh. Uh, flat tire. Wait a minute, let me come on this side. Okay, what? Get a pothole. Got a flat tire. Oh, and uh, thought she was gonna get detained with gate because she's worried about her hair. The girl was like, uh, hey, your hair, like the curly part. I was like, is it in the luggage? Like, do y'all see me? <laughs> I was like, TSA finna give me whatever going on. What we at gate A4? Got the bubble guts. So we are walking to our gate and we cannot wait till we get to the Venetian because <laughs> we are we have caught it. We caught a my husband hit a pothole out of this world. And we had to change the flow. While my mom in the back seat, I mean, she gonna say at the end, uh, I should probably should have got out the car. I don't want to know what she was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I said, she gonna sit in the car, put more weight on him, make me work hard. That's okay. <laughs> don't make me work really hard. Mean, it's just, oh my gosh, y'all. But I'm so glad that he was a trooper. He was a trooper. And, um, he was right there. He was a trooper and he kept a good, positive attitude. So, they had no choice. Yeah, thank God. We're all getting mad about it. You know, trying to I just, a flight, I just you know. didn't want to miss our flight. Okay, we just arrived and we had no idea that now we're in for a two hour delay. We have just arrived in Atlanta. Now we are trying to connect to our connecting flight and we have like 30 minutes to get there. We have to catch two trains to get halfway across the airport to our connecting flight. Will we make it? We are trying to get our flight. So we just ran through the airport. We're totally out of work. So we have like 10 minutes. Okay, as you can see, we had to take another train to get to our connecting flight. So now we're headed to our flight and guess what? They changed the gate again. Yeah, What is it, baby? What is it? Gate 9, A9. Here we go again. So now they changed that gate, and the gate now is on the other side. Straight on the same floor, but the other side. We're tired. We're tired.
somebody was in our seat when we arrived and when they moved we had an empty seat yay we are now on our way to las vegas this is from atlanta we have now arrived in nevada as you can see there are no trees it's just straight dirt and mountains so this is nevada now stay tuned <laughs> Okay, let me tell you what we're talking about. I had to go ahead and get some on the plane because I was so hungry. Eddie didn't eat that much of anything. So he's feeling some type of way because he said we were supposed to start together. Uh, negative. Now we are on the way to the shuttle so that we can pick up our rental car. They were at a Maximus, so they gave us what Eddie called Granddaddy Car. Venetian Hotel and I will meet you guys there.
32. Y'all, we have had a challenging day, but I think we made it to our room. This is a beautiful hotel. 232. We're almost there, you guys. Venetian. Woo! Y'all, it's been a day. Who was cricket? How did I do? Oh, I thought it was cricket. So, this view ain't bad, is it? It ain't the strip, but it's a nice view. This is just a luxury suite, I think, at the Venetian. So, it has the full glass shower, as well as the tub, let me step back some. So, trying to get it at a good angle. Yes, okay. So, And it has this double vanity, as well as your television right there. And if you go into this room, it has the toilet window, a phone, just in case you get stuck. And it also has a area for your makeup. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. So you come in here and we have the full size bed. Trying to get the light off. You have your closet. Bed. And over here you have your full sitting area. So right here you have your flat screen TV. And your floor area. Say hey to the people, baby. Because we're tired. And you have another area. Now, this like key that's where we had two televisions. You have your other area. And your dining area. So, this is so homey. This is absolutely so homey. We are getting ready to get something to eat and come back and lay down. 